joined at the Carolina Tennis Center by head coach Kevin Epley, where the Gamecocks are getting ready to wrap up the regular season. Another home match to finish it off coming up this Saturday at noon. It's the Florida Gators. Gators are ranked number 13, South Carolina number 24 in the latest ITA poll. Gamecocks won six in a row, as have the Gators. These two teams are travel partners. They've been mirroring each other basically for the last several weeks and beating the same team. So, Coach, just uh, talk about this, this matchup coming up uh, with the Gators on Saturday. Well, we're really looking forward to it. Like you said, we've been mirroring each other. Both of us kind of started, uh, you know, a little bit slow, I think. And <clears throat> right around the same time, we started picking it up, both, both of us. So we've been, you know, we've been traveling together and having the same results for the last six matches. So it'll be nice to tee up and see how we go uh, head to head. They're playing very well. They've got a very good squad. Um, they didn't have their full lineup for a good portion of the year. Um, so <clears throat> we expect to be a good competitive match. It's senior day, so we're pretty fired up about that as well. Um, you know, to have uh, such a big match uh, for the seniors on their on their final day at the home courts, assuming we don't host or we have another opportunity here. But uh, <clears throat> you know, a lot of memories uh, on these courts, and it'll be great to celebrate in, in a big way on Saturday. Well, you had mentioned after the match on on this past Saturday against Kentucky how. You know, have you, you know, you've beaten the Gators twice in your career. That was in 2019, but one of those was on the road in Gainesville, and the other was in College Station in the SEC tournament. And that you've never, you know, you've never beaten Florida since you've been the head coach here. And as, I don't know if you're aware, but South Carolina as a program has never beaten Florida in Columbia. South Carolina is 0 and 18 against the Gators, which there's a lot of teams I think that have that same problem given the history and the tradition of Florida. So is that? It, you know, do you feel like that's any sort of extra motivation with with the women on your team? That 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 sort of history and that mystique that Florida has with their, you know, just years that you know the, the national titles they've won, the SEC titles they've won. Is that any kind of an extra factor for them, or 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 not really? Uh, with this group, probably not, because this group's been competitive with with Florida for a few years now. Um, with some of my previous groups, probably that it would be a, you know, they would be a little bit. Uh, maybe overwhelmed by the moment but i think these these girls are ready to go um you know like you said we did beat them away and we beat them at the sec championship um and we did play them for a regular season title or i guess we would have shared it um and we ended up losing was that 2018. um so yeah it would be awesome it would be awesome to beat them here um you know where we do it you know, is, isn't the most important thing, um, but certainly would be nice, particularly, like I said, it being senior day. So, uh, you know, we'll bring all we can. Sort of piggybacking off that question, Emma Shelton, someone who obviously has a lot of connections to Florida, being from Gainesville, her father being the head coach of the men's team. We've also got the men's team taking on Florida this week on Friday, and we're taking them on Saturday. I mean, her brother plays for the Florida men's team. Or the, so. For someone like her, I mean, this is kind of a crazy week for her and that, you know, both these Florida teams are going to be here and just with her dad, her brother. I mean, I know she's obviously going to be at that match for that, you know, the men's match. The Florida men are number one. Mm -hmm. yeah, the whole team, I assume, is going to be at that match on Friday mm -hmm. cheering the guys on. Is For her, is there anything, you know, do you ever worry at all that, you know, it's, you know, trying to keep her in check emotionally or anything like that? Or do you feel like she's just, you know, mentally someone who, who can who can handle things like this? Yeah, I actually, and the, the, these are the kind of things we hope for for Emma. You know, the, the bigger the moment, um, you know, particularly when her family's around, you know, and her brother. Every time she sees her brother, she gets fired up. So, it's actually in this scenario, we we expect her to be super competitive and, and fight really hard. Um, so, no, I'm not worried about her at all. Uh, she's been playing well, you know, for the last uh, you know last four or five matches and. She uh, she's playing well today out here in practice. Her attitude is good. She's she's back to herself. So we just think she's going to be looking forward to this weekend. <clears throat> and Emma, of course, the this week's SEC newcomer of the week as well, and riding a five match winning streak. So like you said, she's playing some great tennis. Well, last question for you. you mentioned how, earlier how it's senior day. Um, you got. Uh, 
couple of seniors that are who are on the court, well, fifth year players, I guess really I should say that, that have been on the court, been a pretty big part of this team, as well as Kennedy, who's also been a big part, but in sort of a much different role this year as as, as a student mm-hmm. assistant coach. Um, can you just talk, you know, collectively about what, what all of these seniors have meant to this program over the last several years? Gosh, they've been through so much. I mean, uh, you know, Kennedy was really big for us in that 2019 season uh, for a big stretch of those matches. Uh, Megan, obviously, was was huge. Uh, it, all, it, Mia, you know, was an All-American her freshman year. Um, you know, one of the best doubles players in the country in 2019 as well. Uh, Sylvia has just been a rock at, at her position. So um, it's it's hard to put into words exactly what they mean to this program because they've been through, all of them have been through, you know, the best times of the history of South Carolina tennis. So, and they were part of creating it. So, um, you know, hopefully we have some young ones coming in that can carry on that tradition. Um, but a lot of memories uh, with, with this group of, of young ladies for sure. And uh, it'll be a special day, like I said. All right, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Going to be a really fun matchup here on Saturday at noon, taking on the Florida Gators. Coach, appreciate the time. We'll check in with you after the match. Okay, thank you, sir. Appreciate it.